and I am back with some more Hearts of Iron 4 with that amazing playtime. So, last we left off, the Spanish Civil War got into full swing. Looks like the Nationalists are going to lose since the Republicans got this nice steal. And we started setting up our defenses, got some nice military factories, started researching anti-tank, and the like. And if I get just a single subscriber somehow, I will play the Access and Allies 2004 RTS game. Uh, yeah. So if you want to see that, for some reason, just, just one, one person, please. I would very much like that. So, we're going to see that we denied the Rhineland. So, and Britain supported us, so we got to skip over that focus, which means we are ahead of the game in getting rid of our disjointed government here. Hindenburg disaster happened. And I get some new planes. And just to prove that I do not have strength in France on, if you didn't see it last time. Okay, we're going to take a little break from building those forts there to start building civilian factories. I'm going to build another military factory in Paris, and then I'm going to order the construction of minor fortifications in the Alps for now. <laughs> no. So unfortunately, I will not be ready for war with the Germans by 1938. So unfortunately, Czechoslovakia will have to die. And Amelia Earhart made it. Quite an achievement. Let's see Marco Polo Bridge incident. Sorry about that, China. You're gonna die. Most of our equipment shortages, except for infantry equipment, have been made up. Let's get some colonial industry. Whoa. Chinese United Front forms. So everybody has joined the war. So far, except these guys. Oh, nope, there they go. So will China be able to survive? Probably not. Okay, so that means our next focus that we can do is defensive stratagems, which I'm going to take that then do military factories, and then I'll start fixing um, our problems here with victors of the Great War and protected by the Maginot Line. We're also going to need a little bit of army experience. So if I get political power, uh... Hmm. Charles de Gaulle is obviously the better one here, but I'm going to have to go with Henry Giraud because I'm going to need to purchase ministers and stuff. So, as you may have noticed, Last time, my last video was 15 minutes and 43 seconds or something like that. So I can post videos longer than 15 minutes now. So who knows how long this will go on for. But yeah, once again, one subscriber, we hit that 20 subscriber goal. I'll play the Axis and Allies RTS.
All I need is one, baby. And as soon as I notice that we... that I hit that, and I'm not at school, I will make that video, and if that does okay compared to the, the other videos that I have, um, I'll make more. We're gonna get this guy Undying Defender, because we're gonna need that, or Unyielding Defender. Retreat is not an option. Yeah, you're right. Because then we won't have forts. Oh, n that's bad. Okay, I really thought the Republicans were gonna win there. Um, great. I have to plan around that now. All these have to be built up as one more level, and then we'll do the focus that will give us level 10 there. Checking the casualties on this Japanese-Chinese war. Actually pretty decent, like for the Chinese right now, like... If that goes on, uh, Japan won't be able to really do that much. Uh, won't really be able to sustain that big of a casualty ratio. In real life, China lost millions, and Japan only had like 200,000 soldiers even in China. Well, you're going to notice a slight gap there because somebody decided to interrupt me because you know of course that happens why, why wouldn't it so I had the game unpaused for I think two to three days See, that was the last command I executed. Why would I do that on my own country? And to prove that I didn't... Just in case anybody out there thinks I might be cheating. I am not. I am just being pestered. Once we get a little more national unity, I might be tempted to take one of those refuge decisions. Yes, I will happily take that bonus. And I notice that I can't do that because I need another five war support. We're gonna get that military theorist so we can get the army XP uh, to put anti tank into our divisions. And you might ask, oh, why didn't you exercise your units? Well, that destroys equipment. And I do not have equipment. Now we're going to start doing defensive focus, because if you do aggressive focus, you're just bad at the game. And I guarantee the independence of Poland. This is going to be a problem, though.
Hmm. around. Soviets are doing their thing. China's holding for now. Looks like the front's decently static. Japan's slowly making gains. Although, if that continues, this roughly 2 to 1 casualty trend, I'm not sure how long if Japan will be able to sustain that. And they already have about 600,000 manpower, 6, 620, somewhere in there. And they've launched a naval invasion down here at Shanghai. Check back in there later. Manchukuo doing things in the Balkans. Wait, why did I click on Greece? I don't have a tree. Britain's gonna start helping China. Good, good. We can start working on these Alpine forts more. These forts will be impregnable. We will have Fortress France. Gonna get... Mm. Computing machine. This is certainly an interesting- oh, that naval invasion died. I wonder how many people Japan lost. Check that. Eh, probably not any. They probably just evacuated. Okay, they've linked up these two lines. Which is- they could get an encirclement here, but the AI isn't smart enough to do that. Checking in on FDR here. They didn't go for Alf Landon. Who needs a portrait? Oh, that's Sudetenland, I can tell. Yep. Just to uh, verify, yes, yes. That is the Sudetenland focus. And we will soon be able to start creating units. We're gonna get a war industrialist. We're gonna have to build military factories at some point. We're just gonna bleed the axis dry. Although, I should not be creating a front line here. I'm gonna tell you why. With the Because what will happen here is, and I've seen this, I've seen entire France games being been ruined by this, is that what will happen is the Germans will attack through northern Belgium, northern Belgium, southern Belgium, and it will count that new border with the the Germans as a new border. So their entire your entire army will just shift up the line. So you want to keep a fallback line so they don't do that. It's probably fine to keep on the Italian border. What? Oh, Britain sent divisions. Interesting. Um, 
it's final probably fine to do on the Italian border because the Germans don't usually attack Switzerland but prepare for that because they can now they got that extended come on come on game the Munich conference unfortunately I will have to leave the checks to their fate Okay, we already did extend the match not line. So we got some good forts there. We're going to have to start putting anti-tank into our divisions. So I'm going to... No, I'm just going to... I don't care how much anti-tank I'm going to be down. We're just going to put it in as a support company. Boom, how much anti-tank can we down? 103, not that bad. We should make dedicated anti-tank divisions, but I'll come later. Once the Germans are starved for food, fuel, and parts. Hungary's being a hungry. Though I thought I saw the Germans do first Vienna award, but I guess I didn't. I weird. Um, we don't need synthetic oil because all we're missing right now is rubber, and we can easily import these things as we do not have anybody that would be able to interrupt our shipments. I saw that. Okay, we're just gonna get all these forts to level 7. And then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna get level 10 forts there on Spain. Like, really just forts everywhere. Forts everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna get attacked by Spain. We're probably going to be invaded through Switzerland. Wait, this is historical AI. I don't think they will. Leve en masse. And let us see how long I've been recording. 18 minutes. I'll go just a little bit longer. Treat you guys to some more cringe. German Reich claims memo. Memo. We're gonna get that mass, mass 38 rifle. We can spend some political power. I can't do early mob, or yeah, I'm on early mob. I can't do partial mob yet. I'd need 1% more war support. So at this point, I'm just gonna go with the silent workhorse for the extra political power gain, which I should have done in the first place. Fall of Nanjing. Okay, so Japan's gains have accelerated rapidly, but at the cost of 300... Oh, that's actually not that bad compared to what they were at. The Chinese army appears to be collapsing, and they're not even on extensive, so Japan has some fight left in them. However, we'll notice China has recently picked War of Resistance. So maybe that will make their, and they have that, uh, but maybe, oh, it looks like their incompetent army was fixed, so maybe their troops will be able to inflict more losses. Looking at the casualties again, China's already up 
1.6 million and the warlords have taken staggering casualties. So maybe not. I imagine they have almost no weapons. Aren't even getting lendlies from the Soviets. Take that nice lever on mass. How many guns do I have? I have 12.7 thousand. I will build divisions because I need to man my African front. We're gonna build 10 divisions and a motorized for that front. This will bring us to a total of 12 divisions. And I'm running a bit longer than I wanted to, so I will see you guys next time.